It's locked. Are you all right, miss? I... I don't know. Who were those people? They, they... they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Xiao Xun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Carnage. This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. 
By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. As I fear, Samuel no longer patches the good luck.
It's locked. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Avery, I leave you to care for my mother. I'm in no state to comfort her. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. My Mary, and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place. <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, Mary. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> I could only change 
one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. I wish the tears would come. But I'm empty. And I feel a hypocrite. Let your pain run free, Jonathan. Don't smother it. What you feel is your humanity. Don't be so quick to lose it. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered. And... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How can I? I've destroyed my family. My poor mother. I can't even console her. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. Thank you, my lady. I will. Good, but be careful. If I found you here, others may too. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Did church he goes, a newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. 
Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn. You reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old, weaker self. What do you want from me? Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know... You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your champion. For I can be as silent as stone. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage. Yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me, is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? She died because of me. How do you think I feel? I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What words would you like to say to your poor sister? I'm so sorry, Mary. I promise to find who is responsible for all this. I'll put an end to this horror. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted.